I'd like to go over how the composite diver crane works and what some of its features and benefits are. First, let's put the cable on the crane so you can see what it looks like configured for a lift. The cables that we supply have a ball fitting swage on the end of the cable. However, the winch will accept bare cable also. As you can see, the ball swage fitting makes putting the cable on much easier. It just drops into a custom made slot in our winch and this allows you to switch cable assemblies much faster. If you look at the winch, you'll see that there's a hardware kit attached to it here to accept the standard bare end cable and standard cable termination. The winch is a DIN rated winch that has a west and load holding brake that's active in both directions, so the load is always supported. The crane telescopes out four positions total. Right now we're in the first position and we can go out three more spots to our last position there which has a load rating of 400 pounds. In the first position, the load rating of the crane is 1,200 pounds. I'm going to put it back in the first position just so it's a little bit easier to show the features. The crane is built with a combination of advanced composite materials, the yellow structural sections, and mil-spec zinc-plated steel, that would be the gold sections. All of our pins are custom-made, billet stainless steel, and we use zinc-plated lynch pins to secure the crane pins in place. We have a handle on the back of the crane that allows you to pivot easily when you're lifting above uh, elevated surface. And also a ratchet binder on the back of the crane that allows you to adjust the angle of the boom section while under load during the lift. This gives you a little bit extra headroom when you're lifting large objects or you need to swing the crane over a parapet wall. We have a couple different bases. What you see the crane mounted in now is what we call our pedestal base. We also have a socket base that mounts flush to a surface. So on the socket base, this tube would go into the floor or into a foundation of some sort. We also include a drill drive adapter with the crane. You need a half inch drive drill chuck. And we just remove the handle from the winch and the drill drive adapter slides in its place. And now we've got a powered winch. I'd like to point out that the pedestal base in our example is not bolted down or anchored. That's just for our demonstration. Normally you'd need to anchor that pedestal base down securely and also the socket base gets anchored down as well. The ball swage fitting on the stainless steel cable assembly as well as the galvanized cable assembly also fits the pedestal base for easy stowage. That pretty much wraps up the operation and basic benefits and features of the Ozlifting Products composite data crane. Ozlifting Products now offers electric winches for both of our davit cranes or for use as standalone models. These winches are custom made to Ozlifting Products specifications. They feature a larger diameter inner drum for longer cable life. They feature factory set overload protection, which is unique in the industry. They come with pendant control. You can select paying in cable or paying out cable, and there's a momentary contact for the run. So when you let go of the pendant, all motion will stop. They also come with an emergency hand crank in case you have a power failure. You can manually operate the winch. This model is their AC model and it runs on standard 110 volt AC power. This is the DC version of the winch. It also features larger inner drum diameter for better cable life, factory set overload protection that we calibrate. It also comes with a quick disconnect on both the pendant cable as well as the main power leads so that the winch can be removed from the 12 volt situation and moved somewhere else. It also includes the same emergency crank handle and the DC version comes with a circuit breaker built in for added safety. I'm going to go through the assembly of the Ozlifting Products composite davit crane. As you can see the crane has been disassembled completely. When we ship it it's actually partially assembled but I'd like to go through the complete disassembly and reassembly just so that you can see it in case you do have to disassemble it completely. The first step is we're using a pedestal base. We also offer a socket base but we're going to use this pedestal base for the demonstration. Notice it's not anchored to the floor. It needs to be in operation but for our purposes the crane will stand up just fine. So the first step is we grab the mast section and we set it into the base. And then we're going to set the main boom section across the top of the mast using the smart latch. And that mechanism is pretty easy to use. You hook the one side of the smart latch first and then drop the boom over the top. Now the boom is locked into the top of the mast. 
we're going to tilt it down just so it's out of the way. On the end of the pins, you'll see that they're actually numbered, one, two, and three. And that's referenced in the instructions manual. But we'll also go through the numbers and where the pins go as we do the assembly. In our case, the longest pin, pin number two, is going to go in the top of the boom section. We're going to attach the one end of the ratchet binder. We're going to lock that pin in with a linch pin. Then we're going to grab pin number one to attach the bottom end of the ratchet binder, again with another linch pin. The balance of the crane is so good that you can pretty much hold it just from the end of this ratchet binder. So you use that to line up the bottom holes. We slide that pin in, lock it with our linch pin. Then we're going to put the telescoping section of the boom in the end of the boom. Make sure the labels read right side up so that everything's put together correctly. It just slides in like so. And we use the final pin, pin number three, to lock it in place. So now the crane is basically set up, but we also include a handle with it. And the handle can go in two positions depending which is most convenient. The handle can either be slipped over the bottom pin here and then locked in place with the linch pin if this is a more convenient operation. Or you can slide out partially pin number two and put the handle up top and lock it in up here. Whichever you use is up to you, whichever is more convenient for your application. And that's the assembly from scratch of the Ozlifting Products Composite Data Crane. Let's go through the differences in the two bases that we have here. Here we see a pedestal base. It's a flush mount style base that sits above the floor. And here's our socket mounted base. This could go flush into the bed of a truck or be poured into a concrete foundation. Each of them has four bolt holes on the edge. We provide a template with every base that matches those bolt holes just to allow you to drill the holes in the floor easier and make that process simpler. We would also say that you can grease the bottom of the crane or put a little dab of grease in each base just to make that crane rotate a little smoother. And that's pretty much the difference between the two bases here. Let's go through the differences in the two bases that we have here. Here we see a pedestal base. It's a flush mount style base that sits above the floor. And here's our socket mounted base. This could go flush into the bed of a truck or be poured into a concrete foundation. Each of them has four bolt holes on the edge. We provide a template with every base that matches those bolt holes just to allow you to drill the holes in the floor easier and make that process simpler. We would also say that you can grease the bottom of the crane or put a little dab of grease in each base just to make that crane rotate a little smoother. And that's pretty much the difference between the two bases here. I'd like to go over the test procedure that we do on each and every Ozlifting Products composite davit crane. It's a 1,200 pound crane that we proof test to 1,500 pounds. It's a hydraulic test stand. We record the serial number of every crane on a test certificate and we also take a picture of each test that goes with the crane to the customer. So when you receive the crane, you'll have proof that each and every crane has been individually tested. Let's take a look at a proof test being done on a composite davit crane. And that completes the proof test of the Ozlifting Products Composite Davit Crane.